The second deadliest U.S. mass shooting of the year took place this Saturday in a shopping mall uh, in a suburb of Texas where a gunman killed eight people, including children. At least 201 mass shootings have taken place in the United States within the first five months of this year, according to the Gun Violence Archive. Mass shootings have also escalated in recent years, according to data, reaching a record pace this year. Just one week ago, U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris tweeted that one one in five Americans know someone who died because of gun violence. Leaders in Congress must have the courage to step up and pass common sense gun safety laws. But certain Twitter users uh, have accused Harris of peddling a made-up statistic. So the Cube took a closer look and we actually found uh, the number to be correct. Harris's office claims this information comes from a recent survey published by the Kaiser Family Foundation. Conducted in March, the foundation interviewed more than 1,200 adults in the United States. And here are the results. 19% of respondents, so essentially one in five adults, say they had a a family member who had been killed by a gun. But this statistic also includes deaths by suicide. The poll also found more than one in five adults uh, say they have personally uh, been threatened with a gun and one in six uh, say they have personally witnessed a shooting. The results also revealed gun violence affects racial minorities at a far higher rate. Black adults are more than twice as likely as white adults to have lost a loved one to gun violence and to have been personally recently a threat and also witness someone being shot. Another alarming statistic. In the past three years, guns became the leading cause of death among children and teens in the United States, surpassing car accidents in 2020, according to the CDC. In no other country are firearms within the top four causes of mortality among children, according to another recent analysis produced by the Kaiser Family Foundation. However, these findings are only based on data from 2020 and 2021. We still don't have any uh, recent statistics from 2022 as well as this year. Mass shootings are happening with a staggering frequency in the United States in 2023, an average of about one mass shooting, according to research conducted by the Associated Press and USA Today.